Hey guys, welcome to a video with me, the Stonk Dad. It has been a while since I have been on here on YouTube, but it is for a very good reason. My wife actually gave birth to our little baby boy last week, and mama and baby are doing fantastic, very healthy. Um, so hopefully they stay that way, but I've, I've been enjoying being a dad for the second time. Uh, I kind of forgot how hard babies were, so <laughs> uh, I, I thought I would be able to do videos quite often like I, I used to, but that was not the case. But I'm back. I'm happy uh, to be here in this video with you on this wonderful Sunday afternoon evening whenever you guys whenever you guys see this video um, but I thought I would do a little different video today now normally on my Sunday videos I do go over the convergence tool which uh, I will be going over that but I thought that it would be a, a good idea to go over some of the trades that I took um, to kind of see uh, to show you guys how I implement the data and use the data in my day-to-day -day routine and I explain everything um, pretty much every single day on discord so if you guys are interested in that please uh, click the link down below in the description but that's what I'll be doing in today's video. I'll go over some of the trades that I took last week. Um, I'll probably pick two of them and then we can talk about um, what went on in the data and, and why it worked out and what I look for in the data sets, okay? So um, let's get into the charts, okay? All right, so um, I like journaling um, every thought that goes on in my mind um, when the data comes out and what's nice about Discord is it will be there forever. So I don't really have to worry about that without it disappearing or anything like that. So I pretty much uh, take a screenshot of the data and then write a brief um, thought process that's going on in my head once that data site comes out. If anything major changes in the data intraday, that's what I do in Discord, okay? So we are going to be talking about um, market net flow, which you guys uh, know I talk about all the time. Um, but I'm going to pick two of the uh, greatest setups of last week, and then we're going to talk about them uh, and why I took that trade and uh, what you should be looking for. So um, this was actually Tuesday's market net flow day, the 23rd of April, 2024. Um, so right off the bat, you can see how um, the flow played out for most of the day. You can see that puts were well below zero for the entirety of the day. Um, and then calls were well above zero in this aspect. Um, you can see that there was a nice trend up in calls um, around the uh, about a, um, an hour after the market opened. Um, but we don't really want to focus on uh, the whole entire day of that. We want to focus on what happened at what time uh, and what I was looking for into the leading up into my trade. Okay, so we're going to flip on over here to Discord. So this is the same day. You can see that the this is Tuesday, April 23rd, 2024 at 6.37 a.m. Uh, that's Pacific time. Uh, that's when the market opens for me, 6.38 in the morning. So um, right off the bat, you can see that call flow was kind of, uh, this was only seven minutes after the market opened, um, but you'll see a little bit later how that developed. Um, but right off the bat, you can see that we had our largest GEX level at 504. So immediately in my head, I'm like, okay, um, if flow is bullish um, today, I'll be looking for 504 to be my upside target. Now that popped up like right at market open. So it was kind of surprising to me. Um, you can see over here uh, on the chart. Oh, you can't even see it very well. But this is uh, this is 501, this uh, yellow line here, 501 SPY. And then this is 502. So we were right in the middle of 501 and 502 at market open uh, at about 501.44 is where this was. Okay. And then you can see um, about literally three minutes after I posted this, you can see that call flow started to ramp up quite a bit. And then we got this giant big green engulfing can candle. Uh, and then as you can see that this is the 502 level right here, this yellow line. So we were pretty close to that 502 level. Um, so as that day moved on, you can see that uh, I said, there it goes, send us to 504 today. So uh, right off the bat, in my head, I'm like, okay, this is very, very bullish. We broke above that 502 level. Um, we have this giant 504 level. Um, I guess it's not that big, but still it's the biggest level to be looking at um, during that time, okay? So um, if you guys remember that the negative GEX levels are actually the price magnets. So I look to those as price targets and where price should draw to them, okay? Um, so that was clear as day, a very, very good setup right away. You could see we had green convergence and even more confirmation when you saw 
uh, call flow starting to go up and up. Um, and then we just got a massive green candle right there. Um, so you have to be pretty quick on that one. It doesn't really happen that quick uh, more often than not. Um, but for in this case, it did happen very, very fast. Um, you can see that we hit, hit that 503 level. This is 503 and then this is 504. And eventually we actually did hit that 504 level um, as we move on here. Um, let's see, boom, boom, boom. So you can see as the day moved on, this was about um, 45 minutes to an hour after the market opened. You can see that call flow was still going up uh, at 6 million. We're about ready to reach that 504 level. You can see that the trend is up or above EMAs or above certain levels. We did come back down to retest that 503 level. So that might've been a good entry if you did miss that first initial move up. Uh, on the EMA here probably was your best bet. Uh, and then uh, call flow, obviously, with green convergence were very, very awesome. And then eventually we did hit that 504 level right there. So that was one trade that I was actually looking at that I did take uh, on Tuesday. And then the last one was Friday, I think. Um, so if we scroll down here to Friday... Friday was a little bit harder um, to figure out than that Tuesday one. Um, but... Nonetheless, it was still relatively the same uh, mentality here. You could see that right at market open, um, call flow started to go up. It was at about 3 million net, and then puts were below zero. We had green convergence, and then we had the upside GEX target at 508. So I'm not sure what the price of SPY was during that time, so that's why I have this handy chart over here. So this is the Friday chart. Um, so if we take a peek here at 630, so this is market open. It looks like we opened up around 506, uh, maybe a little bit higher, 506.50. Um, so that big target there at 508 was definitely um, in my in the back of my head. And obviously, you can see we hit it right here already. Um, but while I was posting these things, we didn't quite hit it, um, but it did hit very, very fast. So we had I said right here at 638, we have the small upside GEX level at 508. Consumer sentiment data is at in 20 minutes too, so I just warned you guys. Um, but you can see that flow was uh, bullish, and then we had that upside target at 508. And literally within 15 minutes, 20 minutes or so, um, that upside target hit. So uh, we have that great call flow moving up, and then we have uh, a giant candle up to meet that level. You can see that I circled 508, that negative GEX level, and then we hit it right here on the chart. And eventually we did go higher. Um, I think there were some price move movements on GEX and towards that 509 level, um, which obviously is a good sign, especially when you see calls uh, go nuclear like this, just go straight up. Um, you can pretty much just uh, buy calls and go to sleep is what I say. <laughs> Not financial advice. But um, yeah, guys, those were just two of the best trades that I look for. Obviously, I look for the big divergence between calls and puts. It doesn't matter if the green line is above or the red line is above. I just play whatever, whatever side it shows me. So in this case, um, the green line was well above the red line, red line. So we would be playing calls or longs or upside uh, in the market. And then uh, the contrary, if the red line was above the green line, we would be looking for shorts or puts. So yeah, guys, that's a little uh, recap of last week. Let me know if you guys like those videos, if you want me to go over um, convergence backtest videos and then make a separate video like this one, or you just want me to replace the convergence backtest videos altogether. Um, it's up to you guys. I'll let you guys decide in the comments. So uh, with that, I'm, I'm glad to be back. Thank you guys for the little break um, with my family. I had a great time. Uh, just hanging out with my little baby and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe as usual. I'll see you guys in the next one.